Well, I have a really cool video for you tonight. Um, to begin with, hi, I'm Devin. Um, I am a musician, but I also have this channel. Um, my music channel is just Devin Alethea, but I have this channel for vlogs and beauty, mainly beauty. Um, but we do a lot of tutorials uh, here and creative ones. So I do horror horror tutorials which are me reviewing a horror or thriller book while I do my makeup. And then I do regular beauty or things like this where I'm recreating the color story of my artwork, things of that nature. Um, and this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm also trying out a bunch of new products that I haven't touched at all that are in my collection. So I'm really excited to get this video started and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. I actually got this in my little birthday kit. This is the Hydro Grip Milk Primer. This is something everyone talks about and I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna try that today. Actually learning how to draw and paint um, in the name of makeup mainly and just learning how to do new things. Um, so we're gonna recreate the color story. I am not an artist, so please don't think that I think I'm good or anything like that. Um, we're just recreating the color story of this painting and I'll put it up in the screen here. So basically there's a lot of blues, orangey, yellows, and there's like some pastel blue going on. I really like the feel of that primer by the way. It feels like it blended into the skin like a gel but it's a little sticky. Okay, But we're going to be doing like some interesting color schemes. And I feel like doing creative videos like this will keep the creative juices flowing, if that makes sense. Because sometimes we end up doing the same boring look and we don't know what to go with. So, hey, if you're an artist too and you don't just do makeup, or if you don't do makeup and you're interested in doing makeup but you already do art, you should just copy what I'm doing and do the color story that I'm doing, or your own color story for that matter, I mean. If you're a beauty influencer and you end up using my idea, just don't forget to give a girl some credit. I'm just going in with my normal brow pencil, nothing crazy. This is just the LA Girl Skinny Brow Pencil. Um, I just got a new brow pencil because I think at some point I'm gonna run out of this one. This one's really good. I have this in the blackest brown. I think it's only like $4.99, so it's a really good deal. It's got one of those micro tips on it, so yeah. I've had this kicking around. This is the Wet n Wild Eye Primer. We're gonna try that out. Um, I don't know how this is gonna be. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's not gonna be good. So let's give this a go and see how this works out for me. It looks like it has a little tint to it. Let's see if it's um, clear on the lid or if it stays having a tint. Okay, so it looks like it blends out clear. So we'll see how that does for my eyeshadow. All right, so next, I need to let that dry for a minute. So I think I'm going to spot conceal a little bit with my Dose of Colors. I have used this a million times. I love Dose of Colors concealer. Um, and this is in the shade Light 09. And I'm pretty sure this has, this is either neutral or it's got a yellow um, undertone. You know, this is almost my skin tone. Um, it's a little light on me, but it blends out pretty good. So I'm just gonna go in for my under eyes as well. I'm, Maybe we'll go for the lighter concealer on top because I have my Tarte Shape Tape as well. But I do need a lot of coverage, so um, maybe this will be fine. I never do the under eyes beforehand, but I just feel like I need the coverage, so we'll see. Okay, so skin is looking pretty dang good, I must say. I would just go out like this if this was whatever kind of day. But I've had this pure palette just kicking around for a very long time so we're gonna play with this a little bit 
Um, this is the Pure Festival palette. I've literally had it for my BoxyCharm since summer and have not touched it. So we're going to go into the brown shades and we're going to tap, I don't know if you can see this beautiful light blue shade. It kind of reminds me of the painting. Um, so I'm going to use that as well. I'm not sure how yet, but we're going to use that today. But let's start with these browns, shall we? Alright, so guys, I started to get it there, and it, the light brown blended fine, but when I got into this dark brown on set, it started getting really patchy, and I had to blend the crap out of it, and you can still kind of see, I don't know whether it's the primer or whether it's the shadow, but it got stuck right there, and I am not loving that, um, and I have blended, 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 and I'm having a really rough time. There's also a lot of kickback in this pan, and this is a high-end palette. It came in my BoxyCharm, so I'm not that mad about it. But if I would have bought it, um, you know, with full price, I probably would have been really mad about it. So just saying. So the next thing that we're going to do, those are two of the colors we're going to use. We are going to go back in and possibly use both of these, but definitely this bottom one here. Um, but we're going to go into the Wet n Wild palette for sure. I'm going to cut my crease because we're going to be doing some pastels. So we're going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape in 125 or 120S, 12S. This is a light, 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 light yellow um, concealer and cutting the crease because... I have some very pale shades. So we're gonna be using that yellow here. It's a little too, it's a little too light. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with it. I might use more shades from this because it's very pretty. I got this in the summer too um, from Wet n Wild. And then we're going to be going into, for the little speckles on the painting, some of these pastel blues over here for sure one might go on the inner corner this is the morphe icy fantasy palette and then i might get into this there's confetti that's why i'm really um i might not open this but i kind of want to this is the pat mcgrath mini i ecstasy subversive palette look at the color story here the yellow that might work with that bright yellow um so we're gonna mess with those and you can just follow along and look and if i have something to say i'll just stop and tell you and if not i'll just wait and let you know what i think okay now i've tried the icy palette this is okay sometimes it's hard to build um, pastels are really hard to build if i try the pat mcgrath i haven't opened it obviously I have not tried this, and that Pure palette is new to me as well, so those are all new first impressions, so I'll be right back, and you can watch me complete this look, and if I have something to say, I will stop and let you know. If not, wait for it, girl. Girl, all I can say is that fucking pure palette pissed me off. See all this patchiness? See, I tried to deepen up the corner. I hope that concealer can fix the look. I tried to fix it with a gray shade from the Morphe palette. I don't think there's no fix in it. So I also got this milk mascara in my um, birthday bag. So we're going to try that before we pop some lashes on. Ooh, if you can see that, I don't really have big lashes, and it actually, I've barely done anything, and it's already doing something. Wow. 
That mask girl works great. Um, and by the way, Goddess says, I think I'm going to be throwing that pure palette in the trash because it makes my eyeshadow look bad. Like, it was so cute and it really fucked it up. And the other stuff I have on my eyes, I mean, even, I mean, Morphe's not the most cheap thing ever, but is affordable. Like, this was great. I mean, Pat McGrath is not um, affordable. It was great, but it wasn't affordable. Um... But that was great as well. But, you know, the Wet n Wild, I think that only cost me a few dollars. And that was great. It was a little dry. But it, the yellow did not, because most of that is not the Pat McGrath. Most of that's the Wet n Wild. That did not play me at all. So we're actually going to go in with, these are Dollar Tree lashes, y'all. So we're going to go in with these Ioni lashes, 3D foam ink lashes. I found them around Halloween time. We're going to see how those work. And... Yeah, I'll be right back with some lashes on and we'll get some more face products on um, as well. I honestly won't put those on with you because I have tried them. So the next thing we'll be trying will be some blushes, contour, lip products. So, be right back. Okay, bitch. Now I'm excited because now I'm living for this wig. Um, but anyway, um... I used some face products and I forgot that I did have one complexion product, I guess you'd call it, that I didn't try before and I ended up trying it, so don't kill me. But um, I got the She Glam sponges because I just threw away my Real Technique one because it was getting really beat up. These are amazing. Amazing. Highly recommend. Really blended out the product seamlessly. I'm not even playing. It's so good. Um, so now, what we're going to do, and by the way, I put some yellow on the lower lash line, some blue on the lower lash line, and it cleaned up really nicely. Um, still a little bit patchy. Like I said, I'm throwing away that pure palette. Um, yeah. But it still cleaned up pretty nicely. The lashes, I need to cut the corners. Mm, I'm too lazy right now. But overall, really liking it so far. We have some more products to try though. So I got this lip product. I remember not liking these a while back, but this is the gel lip liner, Wet n Wild gel lip liner in Bear to Bear to Comment. So I think it's like a nude lip color. So let's see. Yeah, it's like a pinky nude, like a cool tone kind of nude. We're gonna see how this looks. Cause I'm pretty sure last time I did not like it. So we're gonna see how this lip product is. It'll go where the lip, other lip product go. Yeah, see, let's see. I'm really shitty at putting on lip liner. You'll, you'll find that out. So when it moves all over the place, like these gels, it's not the best. However, I will say I like the tip, but it's probably not gonna stay like that. It's really pointy. Sure, once it wears down a little, it'll not be so pointy. We're not gonna go crazy with a lip liner because I don't want it to ruin everything because it's gonna move all over the place. I don't think the formula has changed much. I'll deal with it, I'll use it because I have it, but that is not my favorite because it moves too much. I feel like it's good to have a creamy pencil, but I don't want it to move so much. So that's a no from me, that Wet n Wild. Next, I'm really excited about this Hank and Henry lipstick. This has been sitting around. I can't believe I haven't touched this yet. And speaking, the name of this lipstick is called Touch. The packaging, guys. The Pretty Owl. And watch. Fancy. And then it's not going to be sparkly, but yeah. This shade is called Touched. See, pinks I don't feel like look that great on me. Hopefully with the gloss it'll look okay. If not, we'll touch up with the liner again and make it a little more, a little darker, I guess, and more pronounced. But we're also going to be trying this All Macy, I don't like that, um, on me. We're also going to be trying 
this all may lip gloss god or it's goddess gloss it's sparkly hopefully it's not too gritty i don't like it when it's too gritty but i like a shine it is in halo the all may goddess gloss in halo Probably shouldn't have put it right on my lipstick. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I really like the gloss. That is a definitely pick me up. Now, I think this lip color will work on me if I outline it with a different lip pencil. So let me just do that real quick. See, I'm just really bad at putting on lip. Uh, products but with the right one that did work so I do like how I like Hank and Henry's lipstick it just has to be paired with the right thing I am in love with this all may halo lip gloss gorgeous that's a must have I must say so the next couple things that we're going to be trying are not actually blushes these are the wet n wild halo highlighters I believe a blush and highlighter but I don't really use glowy blush because I have a lot of texture and it emphasizes my texture so we're not gonna do that um, but we are going to use it as a highlighter and I have two different kinds so let me just get those out all right guys they were really hard to open but I finally got them open this is the this is the shade highlight bling And then I think I'm gonna use this one because it's got a little champagne tone to it. This is the shade I Met Someone. With the champagne, oh yeah, those are pretty. They look a little dry, but we'll give them a shot here. I'm gonna mix the two together to give like a pink champagne kind of look. So I'm just gonna mix them together. Oh, anything. Let me just try the highlight on its own. Usually their highlighters are pretty good. I think I'm going to try both of them. Maybe it's just too dark for me. I thought mixing the pink in would help. Well, I can see it on my nose. That's real strange. Hmm. Can't see it on the cheek though, so let's try the other one with the cheek. So this is real icy. Usually I don't go with the real icy ones, but we'll see. They're a little choppy, guys. Usually I like Wet n Wild highlights. I don't think I like these. I think these are the summer edition anyway, so I don't even think you can find these anymore. So I wouldn't opt for buying these. They look alright on screen, but they're just kind of chalky. Too much right there. Alright, so I actually got a foundation powder that I'm going to use as a bronzer in true match i think it'll be light enough it's in the shade classic tan now this is a bronzer this is not what i'm using for foundation this is technically a foundation now okay Glow well, this true match powder there's some kickback in the pan here oh it's very pigmented Okay, it's blending nicely. It's not really grabbing my zits too bad. It's it's doing it a little bit. My dry patches. It's not too awful, honestly. Hmm. 
I like this. Yeah, it's very subtle, very pretty. I like this. I feel like you can build it, but I think it's like a medium coverage. Alright, I feel really pretty right now. And I haven't liked my makeup in a while, to be honest. Like the way it turns out, and I feel really good right now. And I'm doing this at night, so it's not even going to be on for very long. <laughs> so the last thing, and this isn't something new to me. I love this blush. This is the Ofra blush in Charm. It is so beautiful. Let me show you. Just a little bit. So pretty. lot more on that side. I think I'm going to go over with my sponge and pat that a little bit. That's better. So pretty. Let's put a little bit. A tiny dusting on the nose. Yes, queen. Okay, let's put on some setting spray. I've been trying to switch up what I use so I can use all of them. I'm going to go with the Rose Rose All Day Physicians Formula setting spray. I think that the only two things that I didn't really like were the Wet n Wild gel liner, but I had tried one of those before, it looks like they didn't change their formula, and let me just blend this a little more while I'm talking to you. The only two things I didn't really like were the, phys were the Wet n Wild gel liner and the Pure Palette. That Pure Palette is pure trash, is pure trash. Um, other than that, I think that a lot of this stuff was a hit, and a lot of it was drugstore, guys. Um, and I think my favorite was this All May Lip Gloss in Halo. It's so fucking pretty. That is a must-have in your arsenal, I must say. Um, and I hope you love me following the story. Let's take a look with my painting matching the color scenario i really like that idea and it did end up looking like my painting and matching the hair and everything i'm really happy and i feel like it helps us be creative when we think of these cool ideas and again um my name is seven olivia and i hope you subscribe to my channel follow me for more ideas and videos like this um Stay safe out there, wear a mask, protect each other, and I will see you so soon in the next video.